Hey everybody, my name is Jordan Parks and I'm here at my home in Menden, Michigan on quarantine doing an in the bag video and uh, just want to quickly go through what I'm throwing. Um, D-line P2s are what I putt with. I usually put a pair in the bag. Um, I just grab, there's not a certain one I putt with, I just grab either of them and I putt with those. Uh, more putters. I've been throwing the link lately. This is one of the newer additions to my bag. Uh, I actually like putting with this too. There's a chance I may at some point switch from P2s to links because I've been really liking how these uh, feel in the hand and how they fly. I really like the soft plastic. Um, but I like throwing them for straight, real short shots. The Infinite Disc Ruin has been a big game changer in my bag. Very overstable. Uh, I love low profile putters and Infinite has several molds that are low profile putters. This you can just, you can really throw a hard and it'll always come back left on a righty backhand. Uh, I've got a tomb in the bag. I've got several tombs. This is the only one in my bag currently. Um, I just love this disc. I can forehand it for approach shots. I can backhand it really, really straight. Mid ranges from understable to overstable. Got a D blend Anubis. This is uh, very flippy and love it for wood shots. Great disc. I've got the Glow Chariot, max weight, very straight. Really like this disc a lot for some great shots. Um, I've got a Raw. The Raw is a disc that uh, I think I thought was going to be more overstable than it is. Uh, it is, it's straight with an overstable finish. Um, this disc in particular, I had barely thrown it, it was barely in the bag, and I threw two aces in one day with it, with one of the kids in my youth group, Jonah, so he signed it. Um, super cool day, I got a backhand and forehand ace with this in one round, which is really cool. And then I've had a mortar in my bag for a long time. I love the mortar for forehand shots particularly. Um, the Ruin usually comes out for those backhand overstable short shots, um, whereas the Mortar, I just feel more comfortable with a Mortar throwing forehand with it. So I always have a Mortar in my bag. Going on to fairway drivers. I love FDs, but the more I throw the Exodus, the less I throw FDs, but I have one of these uh, S-Line FDs that I really like, really easy to throw, it pops up really easily. Love that disc. Uh, was kind of trying my hand at dying, and I dyed uh, 170 gram Exodus. This is fairly flippy, I enjoy this disc quite a bit. Uh, plus it looks nice flying through the air. Got a more overstable Exodus the Kessler Martin um, C blend 171 grams just a yeah overstable compared to the S1 um, but not like crazy overstable uh, I got the scepter which I'm loving throwing um, yeah I played one tournament recently where I threw this on at least half of the shots I love how I can backhand and forehand it um, people call it a firebird it's not quite a firebird it's uh, a little less overstable than a Firebird, but I really like this disc a lot. Uh, surprising how much distance you can kind of get out of it. Um, but I do keep a Sexton Firebird in the bag. I've had this one since 2015. Uh, 2015 Firebird that has never left my bag from the day I bought it. I wish I had bought like 10 of them or more, or like 100 of them and resold them. Um, but I still have this one from the day I bought it. Um, it comes out of the bag quite a bit. It's more overstable than my Scepter, even though I've had it for five years. Uh, probably because I didn't throw it that much when my arm was weaker, but a lot can happen in five years. I love this disc. One of my favorite discs. I would really, really be sad if I ever lost that. Uh, then some distance drivers. Uh, I carry quite a few right now as I'm trying to narrow down what exactly I'm going to bag. 
I've got the Sphinx in the bag. Um, I really love this for easy turnover shots. This is my kind of, if I want to throw it and know that a backhand is going to stay right, I will throw this Sphinx. I'm not sure if that's even a distance driver. It might be more in the fairway driver category, but it goes so far, I label it as a distance driver for sure. It's kind of a control driver. Uh, I've only got one Faro in the bag right now. This one that I got is from the first run of them, uh, nice and flat. And I love how it looks. I love how it flies. This is my absolute max distance driver if there's not much wind present. Got a Wiggins Destroyer and a Pre-Flight uh, Star D Destroyer. Both are pretty understable. I love this one for under uh, for understable forehand shots. This one has just uh, been a staple in my bag for probably three or four years. Um, it'll be tough to take this one out of the bag. Got two Emperors. Got the Splatter. Uh, I like this one a little, uh, a little bit overstable, but not crazy overstable. It's 171 grams. And I've got this new swirly one from the Double G Run, which is very overstable. The last true distance driver that I throw very frequently is my uh, Glow PD2. So a step up from the Emperor in terms of stability, but this this Glow Run is not like insanely overstable. You'd think that a Glow PD2 would be super overstable. These aren't crazy overstable, but uh, definitely a nice left finish. Then my two utility discs that are pretty unique. Um, one is the concrete slab. Everyone needs one of these in the bag, even if you don't have a huge arm to like, get a lot of distance out of it. I mean, the ground skips you get with these are awesome. They're so flat, um, great for forehand shots. Um, I heard they're great for overhand shots. I don't hardly throw any of those. If I'm throwing an overhand shot, that's not a good thing. But the disc I'm kind of known around here for throwing is a beat up XT Colt. Got a definite puddle top. This is when I start to really like them. Um, I can just throw it on hyzer. I can throw it on a huge hyzer angle. It'll pop up and go right. It's so valuable in the woods to have a backhand shot that will go right. The bag that I use is the Lazat Grip Bag. Uh, I got this bag back in 20 end of 2015 when they first came out and I've used it ever since. I don't think I will ever get another bag. If I did, it'd probably be an Octothorpe. I like to support my favorite two pros, which are Simon Lazat and Nate Sexton. Uh, so I'd love to get a, a pound bag at some point in my career, maybe. Uh, but I love this bag, it's been great. Um, I have no complaints about it whatsoever. So that's what's in my bag. Uh, thanks for watching, appreciate your support and go support Infinite Discs and throw some of these molds because they are truly awesome. Have a good one.